bookshelf to clear left. I've cleared out uh, two others. I've got a total of seven, no, six boxes of books that I've uh, filled. Mm -hmm. I'm working on the seventh book right now and uh, came across this bottle. One of my clients was uh, the daughter of Alfred Hitchcock, Patricia Hitchcock, and uh, she was married to a gentleman in, uh, oh, they lived in California, near where I lived in Tahoe, back in the 80s, and uh, she always invited me over for dinner. She was a big collector of my uh, artwork. And she had a lot of uh, my bronzes, which was really a compliment to me because when you went through her house, she had art from the uh, 10th and 11th century and, you know, just incredible artwork. Uh, her dad collected wines and uh, he had a hell of a wine cellar she inherited from him. And one dinner, I went to their house in, I can't remember, Chinquapin? In North Lake Tahoe. I can't remember exactly the name of the, the place, but uh, she, she invited myself and uh, uh, Hal Sleer, who is the uh, gallery owner that I showed with over there. And... Uh, she served us a dessert wine after, uh, during dinner, and it was uh, produced in 1955, so it was, it was well over 30 years old by the time we uh, drank it, and she, she signed it, and uh, so did her husband sign it, and he says, up yours. That was typical of him. He was a great guy. Just a great, great guy. I don't know if she's still living or not, uh, but uh, she was in several of uh, Alfred Hitchcock's movies. And uh, it was uh, just a, one of the greatest honors of my life to meet her. I wish I'd have met her dad. Anyway, I just came across this bottle sitting in... Uh, one of my uh, shells, and uh, I'm going to pack it up and take it with me. Like I said yesterday, uh, you, you stir up memories when you when you move stuff, especially when you've uh, spent as many years as I have um, dealing with people that, well, normally you would not deal with unless you were an artist of some kind. That's just a fact of life. I've gotten into parties by millionaires in Beverly Hills, uh, met movie stars. Uh, I, I've, I've had great privileges that normal, everyday, run-of-the-mill people just don't get because they just don't have a connection in some respects with people like that. It's not like it happens every day. And uh, that's what makes it very special. <sighs> All right, well, I'm going to put my gloves on because my hands were getting tired from handling these books yesterday. I'll put my pink gloves on. They're gardener gloves. And uh, we'll get back to work here packing the last of the books. I bet I've got 500 pounds of books right now packed and i got probably 200 pounds left to go. Ah. The rubberized uh, gloves really helped me to uh, handle the books a lot better I actually start recording it. <sighs> I guess
got my cart. I have loaded these books on and uh, got to zero in on the uh, book. There we go. I'm going to set the timer on my book because the lights are from behind me because the light lighting in this room is not very good and I need lighting artificial lighting to uh, photograph my books and I I'm whenever I lean up to uh, turn on the camera or I have to uh, I get a shadow across my uh, book. Anyway, so let's see. I'm going to have to show the end of the book. This is a book on Colt guns. And I'm just taking a picture of the uh, backbone of the book because that's where the title of the book is. found an early copy of uh, the Book of Mormon uh, somebody gave me that isn't LDS, I am, and uh, what a special book, it comes from the 1800s. Book on cowboy hats. Alright, that's what I'm doing today again. Hopefully the last day I box books and then it's a matter of uh, enjoying the 4th tomorrow and uh, then Friday I start moving my stuff over to that house as soon as I get a key. I haven't got the key yet or paid the uh, first month's rent and the deposit so I'm going to hopefully be able to do that Friday. Because it costs me every day that I'm in this house on my rent. So I've got to get out of here as quickly as I can to save myself some money. And think of me in your prayers. <laughs> also, be sure to check out my uh, instructional DVDs that I've got a link to. I have your view of each one. Uh, down below this video and uh, it's what uh, helps me finance my work is uh, the sale of my instructional DVD well <clears throat> I just finished up boxing up 10 boxes of books my god that's a lot of damn books it took me close to three days to do this I got uh, two boxes there, four boxes on that cart, and I got uh, under my robe three boxes and uh, another box there. And I got a whole box of magazines, but that's the empty uh, uh, shelves that uh, are now uh, ready to be moved. And tomorrow's the 4th. I'm going to call it quits. I'm going to uh, do an accounting of how many books I've got. Because I've got them in folders on my computer for each uh, box of uh, uh, books that I've uh, stored and gotten ready to be moved. I'm going to go ahead and start putting those in my van. And uh, as soon as I get a key to the uh, new house, I'll go ahead and take them over and unload them in the garage at the new house and uh, and we'll be moving all this stuff. It's going to be a lot easier moving without all this stuff. Uh, having to do these books and having to do it quickly. Well, like I did last time. I didn't even know what the hell I had. Now I do.
I've got some stuff still on top of that one bookshelf I need to go through. Uh, got the, I've got some stuff up here. That's what's left of a life size, my first life size sculpture I ever did of an Indian woman stepping into a stream. That's her left leg. And, uh, and then I got a bunch of this reference stuff too. I still got a lot of stuff to move. I mean, these are just DVDs and uh, VHS tapes that I'm going to have to get rid of. Yep, a quarter to nine. I started at uh, seven o'clock this morning and had about a two hour time frame where I went back to bed because I was just too tired. All right, good night everybody. I'm, I'm done. Later. See ya. Have a happy fourth. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.